Wafakak, Wafakak, it's the time of the year. The potatoes are stolen, and the grandmother's on the roof. Huzzah! Huzzah! The time has come again. Huzzah! Huzzah! Don't forget to bring a new friend. Good morning, wonderful Wafaka. Good morning. Oh my god, what are you doing oh, in my bed, Reese? Your Jesus. face looks it's just so warm <laughs> and greasy. And I'm greasy? <laughs> I've got a greasy bed. Well, yeah, that's that's true. Well, uh, um, your face looks better, Jesse. Thank you. It's all the congealed yaks, fermented yaks, and the secret deeply leaves. alcoholic. And the it's actually my skin. Yeah, you don't have to keep telling me that. That's yeah. fine. But it did heal me amazingly. It I did. I don't know how. Well, you know, it's magic. It's the healing, magic leaves. The natural healing power of skin. Wonderful Wafakak. What is this? Day seven. seven. Tonight is the night of silence, and you've got it's to celebrate those who are unable to make noise. Those who live of silence. Those who are unable to make noise. Yes. And I don't mean they can't speak. I mean you're not nonverbal. They just is a special kind of person in our village who um, they might like throw a brick through a window, but there's no noise and nobody it's knows. It's like why. they're cursed. Yeah, they're cursed to uh, uh, remain almost totally silent. It's like they're in a vacuum in space. Stephen Beanpool, Stephen Beanpool, who leases the sky, one of the Wafukat gogs, has cursed certain people who don't believe in him yeah. to never make noise. Yeah, if you don't believe in Stephen Beanpool, I pity you because his wrath is bountiful. Right. But tonight we. we oh. Oh, goodness, that's my... It's very unprofessional. That's my phone. What is it saying to you? It's saying, uh, run from face-punching Dave. There we go. There we good. Even though he's, it's not face-punching Dave's time. He should be, he should be back in his cave sleeping. So know, hibernating uh, until next year. So, so tonight, you've got to sit in the dark, don't, uh, don't blink, and you've got to hold your breath for a day. Jesus. Or if you can't do that, just 10 seconds is fine. <laughs> they relaxed the law because so many people died. So... Today we're learning. Hold this, on, wait, oh, wait. No, no, we're back. We're back for the free people. The free people who aren't on the Patreon. Welcome back. Welcome back, you fucking freeloaders. You missed out on a man who uh, killed all of the dogs in Haiti. Um, and also uh, a, a man named after a reindeer who uh, had a pet dodo. And it was real. <laughs> These are actually kind of some amazing fucking stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You missed that. You better go back on patreon.com forward slash Canadian politics is boring. You're and such you a good listen. salesman. Just sad. Just teasing them with so good facts and history that they missed out on. <laughs> um, so Farouk, should we not? Open oh, we need to open the door. Yeah, it's gonna forget what it's I gonna just sound said. like a can being open, but it's not. Okay, it's a door. I like the sound of that door. It makes me thirsty. <laughs> What's behind the door? Do your, door does number your seven. Front door not make you thirsty. <laughs> New thirst door. It's almost like Reese's magic leaves. <laughs> <laughs> the door is made of skin. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway. Oh, you, that was, a, you, that was jo- it a joke. It was an inside that joke that you wouldn't it, get it. Yeah. It wouldn't translate because it was no. in the premium episode. You got to go, get, you gotta go uh, pay for it. You got to go pay to hear that joke. If you want to laugh <laughs> twice as hard, you need to go back and listen to the other episode. And listen to that joke again. It might be funnier the second time with the additional context of the first setup of that joke in a premium episode leading through into the free episodes. But this is getting a bit complicated. <laughs> All right, what's under? How do we seven? end up here, Jesse? I don't know. I so ask myself Farouk, that every day. Farouk of Egypt. Um, Farouk of Egypt. Yes. Yeah, so Farouk right. of Egypt was a large leader and weighed three hundred pounds. Oh my! Apparently, he maintained his weight by eating caviar, lobster, tons of chocolate, and six hundred oysters a week. How the fuck do you get oysters and lobsters in the desert? I guess you get them shipped in because you got a lot of money because you're yeah, in charge like, of Egypt. Hold on, but like. There's no refrigeration back then. So you'd just be having like week old sort of. I don't know. Do they, they're guessing maybe there's a kind of desert lobster that we don't know about. A desert lobster. Yes. Yeah. Yep. The you desert pull, lobster. You pull a pot out of the sand and there's a lobster. And there's just there. a lobster in the pot. Yeah. Yep. That's just pre cooked. Pre cooked. <laughs> It's got this even goes melted butter next. <laughs> you pick the sand out and you're good to go. Um, I, right. I, 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 there was trade. They would yeah, have been but still, trade. trading 
weak old warm lobster <laughs> doesn't sound that appealing to tell you the truth but you don't know if it was a week old i don't know how long it takes to transport lobster into the middle of the desert i don't i have no yeah, idea but also egypt's on the coast and he was he was in charge in the 30s so it wasn't too old all right that's fair enough yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so but his his nickname was the thief the thief of cairo and he ate, he was 300 pounds he ate caviar and lobster and oysters Six to, to maintain his weight, maintain his specifically weight. maintain it. He sure. didn't. He didn't eat lobsters and oysters and caviar because he liked that stuff. He ate it because he needed to stay at three hundred pounds for some reason. I guess maybe he just that's just how he felt comfortable in his own skin. Right. Yeah, and he, he was also quite an extravagant playboy. Like he, he had a lot of women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, but well, he, he, had, he had all the lobsters. Can so. you guess? Can you guess why his nickname was the Thief of Cairo? The Thief of Cairo. Yeah. I'm guessing it wasn't because he stole Cairo. Um, Known a whole city. <clears throat> right. Um, he stole all of Cairo's lobster. No. No. Um, I don't know. He was basically a kleptomaniac. He liked stealing things around him. That's fucking awesome. Are you kidding me? Oh my <laughs> God. Like, so he, he was. He so a, it's not that he stole something specific from Cairo. It's that he stole everything he fucking could from Cairo. So he, t- tons of money. <laughs> not just Cairo. He had tons of money. No, didn't need anything. He was just addicted to the thrill of stealing from people. That's amazing. But also, he pushed it to the extreme. He wouldn't just steal like <clears> from uh, people around him. He went to a restaurant. He'd go, oh, I can have this knife. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a nice napkin. I'll have that. So he'd take that, all that kind of stuff. But Sir, we can see you. But then he, Sir, we can, we're watching you. Yeah, with the napkin. Exactly. Just, <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm Farouk of Egypt. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> <gonna> do? <laughs> what are you <laughs> well, it takes the thrill of stealing if you can get away know, with it exactly. so easily. <laughs> but he upped his ante. He stole a sword from the Shah of Iran. I don't know what that is. The leader of Iran. The Shah of Iran. Shah, S H A. Yeah, yeah. Is a leader. S H A H. S H A H. So he stole the ceremonial sword from another leader from a different country. That's fucking awesome. And he stole Winston Churchill's watch from his pocket. What? Fuck off. That's amazing. So, like. So he was actually like a decent pickpocket. He was, yeah. She's like, oh, I want a hug. <laughs> want a loser? <laughs> I want a hug. <laughs> oh, for That's real. what he was known yeah, for. He's like, uh, hugs. hug me, and then we will die on lobster and... <laughs> hug me. Hug, hug me. God. Oh, thanks, Winston. Mm, That's a nice watch. <laughs> he mine. said out loud in front of his face. It's yeah. mine now. <laughs> anyway. He whispered. So that was... Into his, uh, Far- deep into his ear canal. That was yeah. Farouk of Egypt. Good on him. That's cool, man. Thrill I like, I like good pocket. thieves. Thieves are fun. I like uh, I, I when I was younger I wanted to be a professional thief. That's true, by the way. I wanted to be. He wanted to be a professional thief. I did. Yeah, I thought it would be a really. Did fun you go career. to thief university? I did. Yeah. Next, I stole a diploma. <laughs> stole a diploma. <laughs> no, I just thought it was. I thought it would be really, really fun being a professional thief. I didn't know how to get into it, and fortunately, I didn't. I didn't pursue it. <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> young and stupid. When I was a kid, I wanted to. Uh, be a mad scientist and have a base in a, I should, vol- I should, base in a volcano. <laughs> I should clarify, I didn't actually pursue thievery. I didn't I go and like try to rob people's homes or anything like that. I just read books on professional thieves and thought it was really neat. You like watch you know, Ocean's Eleven. And I like, love that shit. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah, it's fun. It's clever. It was the, it was the clever getting away with it. It was the two years in jail. That was kind of <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> So uh, tonight is a night of silence. Are you limber and ready to? I've been stretching all day. To not blink and not blink and hold my breath for at least ten seconds. And uh, (laughs) just just to honor those who cannot make noise on our of silence. I know. So it's very sad. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Unless unless you're not paying, then we won't see you tomorrow. Then fuck you. If you're paying, we'll see you tomorrow. (laughs) Wonderful will fuck act. Wonderful will fuck act. And wonderful will fuck act to you, dear listener. Uh, And silence. No, 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 it's the time of the year The potatoes are stolen And the grandmother's on the roof Huzzah! Huzzah! 
the time has come again. Huzzah! Huzzah! Don't forget to bring a new friend. friend.